1046 this morning. That means it's time for a little light camera. McCarthy, Kevin is still in New York this morning for his sit down with a legendary comedy star, but that's not all he's been working on. Take a look. Hey everybody in DC, it's Kevin McCarthy. I'm here in New York City for an incredible assignment. Now, if you're watching this interview right now or this video right now, that means I am literally sitting down with the cast of the new movie Unfrosted, including one of my favorite comedians of all time, Jerry Seinfeld, also Jim Gaffigan, Christian Slater from one of my favorite movies of all time, True Romance. Um, so basically, here's the deal. If you're seeing this video, I am in the middle of those interviews. If you're not seeing this video, you don't know it exists because I'm live on TV right now instead. Um, but I am here in New York City. The new movie, Unfrosted, is directed by the incredible Jerry Seinfeld. It's his directorial debut. He also wrote the film as well. And I'm here to talk to them. I saw the film last night, and we'll have those interviews coming up at the end of the month. The movie hits Netflix on May 3rd. But as always, I'm still covering other films while I'm traveling. Uh, there's a brand new horror film opening up this Friday in theaters called Abigail. It's from Universal Pictures, and it stars Alicia Weir uh, as the title character of Abigail, who's a vampire that gets kidnapped, and the kidnappers have no idea that she's a vampire. So I chatted with her one-on-one. -on -one. She's 14 years old, and I found it really interesting that she actually can't buy a ticket to her own movie uh, in the United States. So here's Alicia Weir talking all about that and more. Take a look. I think she knows something. Guys. Guys. Guys! Oh, no. So I, I know you're from Ireland, uh, and, the, and the rating system there is different, but in the U.S., obviously, your film was rated R. So weirdly enough, you couldn't buy a ticket to your own movie without with a parent. Um, and I was just curious, now that you're in an, in an R-rated film like this, does it give you permission to watch other R-rated movies that your parents might not let you see, or did you grow up watching R-rated movies? You know, I'm not sure if they'll let me see other scary movies that are R-rated, but, I mean, being on the set of Abigail, I definitely learned so much about the horror side of it, and before i done that, I was so intrigued to see if, you know, like you said, the R-rated films are really that scary on set, and especially because I'm only 14, and if I was really going to be freaked out, but it was honestly the complete opposite, and I think it made me look in a different way of horror films, that it was just so much fun every day, was just the complete opposite honestly it was fun it was crazy and it was exciting but honestly it was strange doing an r-rated films at the age of 14 but it didn't feel like that every day it really didn't it just felt like fun and excitement all the time i would love to see a video of you going up to a theater like in america <laughs> to buy a ticket for your own movie like can i have one ticket to abigail and they're like i'm i'm in the movie Could you <laughs> and they're like no you're too young <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always been fascinated by, like, little details of characters and kind of how they inform you about who that person is. Obviously, the teeth and the eyes are very specific, but I would imagine the teeth also alter the way you move your face, the way you speak. And I was just curious if you could talk about the teeth and what they gave you from a performer's perspective into the inside of who she is. 100%. I mean, the steps to Abigail and things that, like, the contacts and the teeth, like you said, and being in the big white tutu definitely helped me transform into that character as I felt like Abigail. I looked like Abigail, and I felt, I really felt like her, and I was thinking like her, and I was just putting myself into her character, and the teeth definitely helped. I mean, I was doing an American accent, which isn't, you know, I'm Irish, so that was different, first of all, and then I had the teeth as well, which definitely had to get used to speaking in the accent with the teeth on. And then I had different teeth as well. I had stunt teeth, which were like even bigger, and they took up like most of my mouth. But luckily, I didn't have any talking scenes with the stunt teeth on, which was good. But yeah, the teeth definitely helped me transform into her character and really feel like her. All right, so Abigail hits theaters this Friday, and I will be back in studio on Thursday. Definitely, we'll have all these big interviews coming up. Again, I'm in New York to talk to Jerry Seinfeld, as well as the entire cast of Unfrosted. I miss you guys and love you guys in D.C. I'm Kevin McCarthy, Fox 5, Local News.
Awesome. And like Kevin said, you can catch Abigail in theaters on Friday. We are so looking forward to as well his interview with Jerry Seinfeld. He actually posted on his Instagram, yes. uh, you know, yeah. one of his first interviews with Jerry Seinfeld years ago when he, I think he was interviewing him at the Kennedy Center. Uh -huh. uh, so all that. sorts of great content. Looking forward to seeing him when he gets back because I'm, I'm sure he's got some good laughs. You know, Kevin's way. going to Kevin. He yeah. always yeah. does a great oh, yeah. job. <laughs> we yeah. miss we you, Kevin. It.